The spreader itself is solid. I'm really impressed with the build quality of it. Building it, a little bit challenging, but not the most complicated build out there. It just comes in a lot of pieces, it takes a little bit of time to put together. It has pneumatic tires. Now, whether you're going to be getting this Chapin spreader here or any other spreader on the market, make sure it has pneumatic tires. It makes such a difference when you're gliding across the lawn without hitting bumps. Those plastic wheels tend to get knocked off course. And I've had it where plastic wheels, I've actually spilled some fertilizer because they're not as good at cushioning the lawn when you're spreading across it. Makes your life a little bit easier when spreading. Having this stand out back means it can't just fall over. Some cheaper spreaders I've had, they've actually fallen over. So I really like that. It's got a nice wide wheelbase so that it doesn't just tip over. It allows you to have a better spreading experience when you're using the spreader. Handle up here, this might be one of my favorite parts of the spreader. You don't have to hold this back at all times when you're spreading. You can just pull it back and then that's it locked in place. I have had this where the screws moved. I might have not tightened that enough. So that's probably on me, nothing about the spreader. And then when you're finished at the end of your run, you just push it forward and that closes the gate off. It's got the linkage all the way down to blow the hopper. You won't find any of these settings on common bags that you see at the big box store, or at least I haven't, but they do have a chart so you can convert from Scott's or Echo or other spreaders to this Chapin model here. And I found it to be somewhat accurate. I had to go a little bit higher here to get this right poundage down on my lawn but that might just be the product that I'm spreading. I really like the handles, got a T-bar here, got the handles, like little rubbers on them here, so you've got something to grip onto. And I like, you don't have to hold a handle in like a brake like you get on a push bike um, to deposit the product. This handle is nice there. You, you can just focus on pushing the spreader along. Now this spreader has one method for depositing material and that's via this handle here. So if this handle is not calibrated correctly, then product's gonna fall out at the wrong rate or if you just nudge this say you want to have it on this set here which is about 17 you push it here and you go 14 well then it's not going to be putting the correct amount out because over time this is going to need to be calibrated to make sure that it is accurate because every time you keep going like this this bolt might start to move come loose and then it gets inaccurate or something in here might start to wear a little bit and you might start getting discrepancies in how far open your spreader is the method for controlling the degree at which a product's gonna come out is really neat. I haven't seen this on a spreader that I've got before. So if you want to limit how much product comes out on the left-hand side, you push this right handle in here and that will close this right side, meaning that the product won't end up on the left-hand side. Sounds a little bit counterintuitive, but it works. And if you wanna do it where you stop the product on the right-hand side, you push this one in and then you would pull the left one, right one out, which would then mean the product is going to not be spread on the right hand side and if you want a really narrow spread pattern you can push them both in. This is what I dislike the fact that I've got fertilizer left in my spreader I can't get it out without doing the little bump method which isn't a huge problem but just something I don't like to do you don't get good even coverage of the fertilizer then if you've bought the exact amount that you need for your lawn and that's because this bar here it doesn't go all the way to the edge of the hopper and it's about three quarters of an inch above the bottom. So it just doesn't sweep any of that fertilizer into the area where it falls down the grate, which I just think is really poor, especially when you're spreading, spending so much money on a spreader. But then again, all the spreaders out there in the market have this problem too. So maybe I just need to come up with my own spreader. So overall, I wouldn't say this is a bad spreader, but not being able to get the last bit of product out of the hopper, that really bugs me, but that's not just the spreader here. So I can't really knock the spreader too much. I was hoping that it was gonna be much better than that, but overall, this is a good spreader, don't get me wrong. Pneumatic tires, nice handle, nice height, nice mechanism for controlling how much product is dropped. So in those categories, it does really well, but just getting the last little bit of fertilizer. So if you did like this video and you're interested in getting a Chapin, you wanna find out how to build one, check this video over here.